All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new to my channel, uh, I request you to subscribe me. So from this video, uh, we are going to discuss about how to use memory in a lang chain. Normally, a ChatGPT API is serving the request in individual basis, which means it does not consider the previous chat history when uh, it answering the questions. So uh, this is a big limitation for API users. But with Langchain memory, uh, we can overcome uh, this limitation. So basically, with this, we can replicate ChatGPT in uh, Python itself. So uh, let's move to the notebook. All right. So let's go through the uh, notebook. So firstly, we have to uh, install uh, Langchain and OpenAI libraries. That's all we need. Next, uh, we can give our Open API key as always we are doing. Uh, next, we have to import this uh, memory utility from the Langchain. So there we are specifically looking at conversational buffer memory. So that's what we require to retain the chat history and leverage it as a context when uh, API is uh, serving our request. Next, uh, we can uh, initialize the conversational buffer memory as a memory variable. Next, uh, we can uh, initialize the conversational model. So there we need to install, uh, import OpenAI uh, LLMs as well as chains. So from chains, we need conversation chain. Next, we can initialize the model. So here I'm giving the name uh, as conversation with summary. So you can replace it with whatever you want. Next, we can initialize the conversations chain. There we need to give two things. The first one is uh, LLM, which is the large language model. Here we are giving open AI. And next we have to give the memory components. So there we are giving the memory component we created with the conversation buffer memory. That's it. Uh, that's how we can create uh, the OpenAI agent in Langchain with the memory. Uh, so let's uh, see how it works. So, so here uh, we have to uh, call this by conversation with memory, uh, which is the name we I have given to the model, and then dot predict, and then as input I can provide the messages I want. So here first I'm giving uh, hi. My name is David. I am a student at Swinburne University. So uh, AI is replying me. So here it tells, uh, hi, David, it's nice to meet you. I am an AI created to help the students like you. Uh, what can I do for you today? All right. So this is the normal thing. Uh, we are, when we forward a request, it replied us with uh, some kind of a response. But uh, let's ask question that requires the previous chat history uh, in order to build it the answer. So here I'm telling, uh, great, uh, do you know where my university is located? So in order to answer these questions, it should understand what is the university that I mentioned from the previous message. So then uh, it need to fetch Swinburne University and afterward it needs to uh, find where this university is located. So this is how it uh, gives the answers. So it tells, yes, uh, Swinburne University is located in Melbourne, Australia. It is a public research university established in 1908. So as you can see, it uh, has retained the memory from the previous chat and then it leveraged it when uh, it, uh, it is doing the question answering. So here again, I'm asking, do you know where I study? Again, it uh, refers to the information that I have given uh, that I, ha I have given to the chatbot already so here again it tells yes you said you are a student at uh, Swinburne uh, University so as you can see uh, in this way we can uh, keep memory in um, doing the uh, using open AI uh, API but uh, when we are using uh, chat GPT API, uh, 
uh, it does not have uh, this feature. It just uh, serves the request in individual basis. So, but with the lang chain memory, uh, now we have the facility to uh, leverage our uh, chat history as well. So this is super important uh, when we are building various chatbots in our own applications, because uh, it is more powerful to uh, do things in a conversational manner rather than uh, simply uh, getting uh, unidirectional uh, question answering. So thank you for watching. I will put the link for, to the notebook in the description. So see you again from the another video. Thank you.